going back to Spain, going to drink some Godeo, and Cooper's going to join. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to Drinking It In. I am your host, Chris Casara. We are here to help you know more and drink better, and we are going back to Spain for more Spanish white wines. Um, I'm going to be drinking a um, Godeo in this video, and um, it's been on my list of something to uh, put in front of you guys for a while, uh, but frankly, I haven't found uh, too many uh, bottles available in my area. I found this one, and uh, we're going to taste it and go through what you should expect from these wines. So, Godeo is mostly grown in uh, Spain and Portugal, so think of the Iberian Peninsula. It's a, a white wine that's generally pretty light in body, um, but you know the, it, it runs the gamut from um, from a wine uh, making treatment perspective, right? A lot of wines, a lot of them are made in stainless steel. Some are, you know, have uh, some oak aging to it. So you can get a good bit of variety from uh, from Godeo wines. What's uh, what do you usually, I guess, expect in a Godeo wine? Some citrus notes pineapple, um, you know, maybe even a banana if you're lucky. Uh, the wines that are def that are done in stainless steel have a lot of minerality to them. They're very high in acid. Um, and uh, as you would expect, they're perfect for seafood. Uh, if, the, if, you, um, if you get one that has a little oak on it, you know, it works better, you know, works very well kind of up the, the food chain as you get into chicken and pork. But think of Godeo, think of, you know, think of really pairing it with seafoods, a salad, anything that's got, um, you know, anything that's got some lime and cilantro in it, right? Whether it may be like a fish taco. So let's talk about this wine. First off, what are we looking at? 2020 Via Barassa Godeo. Pretty cool label there. Uh, this is from the Val Diaris, um denomination de Orochin. Um, my Spanish is definitely not good. It's probably worse than my French, right? This guy is uh, surprisingly 14.5% alcohol by volume, which is pretty high for a white wine, which is interesting. All right, let's see. So citrusy. Um, really clean. Almost there's... A, there's a note of, uh, I'm going to go lemons and limes. It's not quite grapefruit or orangey. Lemons, limes, you can definitely smell that metallic minerality that comes out. There's a little bit, a faint note of circus peanut. Um, I mentioned you could get banana out of this, uh, banana or pineapple. So this one's lemons, limes, a little bit towards the banana end. It smells pretty. I think, you know, I mentioned Chardonnay before, but if you like a Sauvignon Blanc wine, uh, you're going to like Godeo because it has a lot of those, you know, it's, again, high acid, citrusy notes, and very clean. Oh, yeah. The acid gets you. It's really nice. Um, that banana note kind of comes through. It's more, I got it last night when I tasted this, but I'm, I'm getting even more on the second day. It almost makes it, so even though it's very acidic, that sensation, that taste of banana almost tamps down the acidity. I mean, maybe it's just because in my mind I'm thinking banana is, you know, um, sort of, you know, smooth, Luscious, right? Or, you know, I don't even know how to... How would you describe a banana? You can tell that this one is all, like, stainless... I, I assume it's all stainless steel um, treatment. It doesn't say on the back. I'm going to have to double-check it just so I give you guys good information. And Because that minerality is there, right? So, on... So, you get a really high-acid banana e note um, with a lot of minerality. It's very steely. This is a good wine, though. It's a really good wine. There's, no, there's, there's nothing off balance about it, right? There's acid, but it's not too high. There's some fruit flavor, 
but it's not overwhelming. There's some minerality, but it's perfectly mixed in with that fruit. So a winner from Spain, get out there, try some Godeo. Um, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining. Hey, it's Chris. I wanted to thank you for joining. I appreciate uh, all of the love that people have been uh, giving this channel over the, certainly the most recent months. Uh, I encourage you to hit the like button, write some comments down there so we can continue the conversation. And, um, you know, I've put a, you know, put a video, a playlist up here for your enjoyment because I know you'll get some value out of it. And, uh, you know, I look forward to uh, seeing you more and more.